Hello everybody and today we're going to look at this chair we created in Inventor and we're going to move this across to a Revit family. So just want to show you that you can create furniture and certain small items in Inventor. So I'm going to include this into this Revit uh, BIM workflow. So the first thing we want to do here, we want to go into our environments and we want to select BIM content. This is a very basic video here. And then we want to hit right here where it says export to building components. We'll select that guy. And then we'll give it a name here. So I'm going to place this uh, on my desktop. Uh, boy, it's boy today. I'm going to write over something I did earlier. This top. I hope it works out good. And then I'm going to go, I'm going to just call this two chair just to be on the safe side. So let's say chair number two chair. And then I'll say, so basically what happens is you're giving this a RFA family name going into Revit, going to go to BIM. So we all hit this and say save. And then this selection is not located in the active project. Do you wish to continue to say, yes, I do. Because the active project will be where all of our inventor files are kept. So just going to say yes here. And now Rivet's doing, I mean, Inventor's doing this thing here. Okay. So this takes a few minutes. And now it's generating a, a rivet, this building a rivet family file. This only takes a few minutes, so I'm going to just take this time to thank all of the new subscribers and everybody's joining this BIM channel. And we use Navisworks, Rivet, and Inventor uh, because those are pretty uh, standard BIM family, BIM formats we're going to use. So right here, I don't want to make this video too long, so I'm going to take a quick pause because this right here could take several minutes, this um, exporting. So let's take a quick pause here, and I'll see you back in whenever that's done. Okay, now we're done with our, our uh, processing. That took about five minutes. So... To, the operation completed successfully. Detailed information is contained within translation report. So what happens is you get this report here. Um, I'll say yes, and here's the report. Nope, that's not the report. Uh, something I'm working on. Uh, there's the report. So yeah, you can see this is all the information that went across with that. You got things like element type and the faces and the configuration. And a lot of blah, blah, blah. And we could even put parameters in every one. So we'll look at that a little later on when we get into something bigger and better. So now we've got our, our um, guy exporter in the Autodesk Rivet. So now let's go on the Rivet side. So I'm going to just shrink this down. Now I did this chair in a previous exercise, so you can do this chair as well. So let's go and open up Rivet. And we're going to just go into where we'll say new. It will be a new family. And let's just go into a generic template. No, we want to just go straight and open that family up. That's what we want to do. It's a family. We don't have to do this. My bad, folks. So I put that on my desktop and I put it as... Where is it? Okay, let me see what's going on here. Let's stop. RFT. No, I don't want a template. No wonder. Let's cancel that. We want to open. My bad. We want to go to desktop. And there's my chair. And then I'll just open that up.
Now there's our chair in Revit. You can look at it here in 3D. So there's our chair. Now um, you get this box type of thingy here all the time. But what you can do, what I normally do, I'll just go and I'll just grab that box and I'll go explode. You can do a partial or a full, but I'm going to just do a full because I want to get rid of that box. And now uh, what we do here, we'll select this guy and we'll add a material. Uh, let's go, let's go here to our, let's go create a material. And let's go over here to our asset browser. Uh, let's pick something already in here. I think I got one here called Redwood or something. So let's just go, because I did a thing like this before. Uh, well, you can pick any of these. Let's just take this guy right here, this itemized red, and we'll go into our graphics. We're going to use our rendered appearance. Click apply. Now, normally, you wouldn't rename that material name, but I'm just doing this, and then we'll say OK. We go into our consistent colors and our realistic. And there's our chair. Now, let's bring this guy into Rivet. So let's go uh, create a new project. Let's go to architectural template. Now, normally we would give this a category as furniture, but I'm using this as a, this is an example. We're going to get a little deeper into the inventor Rivet family workflow a bit later on. I just want to show you this process of how you, uh, now we're in our, our Rivet project. I'm going to window tile this. Okay, and then we just insert. Load into project. And there's our chair. We'll hit define and we'll show uh, consistent colors. Look at that in 3D. And realistic. So there you have it. We take this chair from the inventor and create a rivet family and brought it into a rivet project. Hey guys, thanks for watching the videos. Uh, you got any more suggestions or ideas, please put it in my comment section and like this video. Uh, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next exercise. Have a good one. Bye. It's all good. Take care, folks. See you next time.